Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I, I'm starting a new channel and it's going to be about making doll houses and miniatures and calico critters or that's what we know them in the United States, but they're also known as the Sylvanian families. And I will show you some of those. So here is the little um, fluffy kitty. <laughs> And this is one of the toddler of the Persian cat family. And then one of the first sets that I purchased was the sweet pea rabbit family here. And come like this. And pretty inexpensively from Dollar Tree, I'm building um, small miniature towns. And so this video is for all of you out there who love miniatures and love little cute things like I do. And that's why I'm doing this channel. I think it's just completely for fun. And so I wanted to share uh, with you what I do and how do I build these cute little houses here inexpensively from the Dollar Tree and the types of material I use and I'm hoping that maybe it will inspire you to do the same. So if you're into doll houses or if you're into creating miniatures or if you're into creating miniature sceneries, this channel's for you. Also, if you're into calico critters as well, this channel is for you. So welcome. Um, let me give you a little bit of a backstory. I am, my name is Tanya, I'm 55 years old, and I have always, always loved miniatures. I absolutely love miniatures. And I know that if you're watching this channel, you love miniatures too. And no matter what age you are, um, there's just a joy that comes with small, tiny, cute things. So if you're all about that, so am I, and I am so glad you're here. Um, another part of the backstory to how I got onto the Calico Critter. So recently I was in a really cute gift shop and at the cash register, they had this um, clear plexiglass box and inside of it, they had these teeny, teeny, tiny mice. And the mice were like, some of them were dressed up like doctors and nurses and you know, all kinds of, you know, jobs and some of them were mothers and they had small mice babies and they were really super duper tiny, probably about half the size of this little guy here. And they were so cute. And I thought, oh my gosh, I could so collect those. So this is how I, this whole thing got started. So I looked at them and I was, I found the price and they were expensive. So we're talking a figurine of probably this small was like $85. They're hand porcelain, they're paint, hand painted, and I fell in love with them. And if I could afford it, I would have bought the whole lot right and collected them but i couldn't so i was like okay well there must be something like it so i'm gonna shop on amazon so i went on amazon and i started scrolling through all of the cute little mice i i particularly love small mice and anything that's a mouse that has a really cute face to it um <laughs> i'm drawn to like a magnet and so I started looking and what came up on Amazon were, were the calico critters. Now, what's interesting about the succession of how this starts happening is because in Germany, um, my parents had something similar. In fact, my mom had these little um, mole, a mole family and they were made out of rubber and they had cute little clothes on just like these guys. And they were about the same size, maybe a little bit taller. I think their names were Minnie and Mackie or something like, like that. And when we took our last trip to Germany and we were in some of their Christmas shops, which by the way are amazing, 
they have all these little teeny things and um and i saw those little moles there and i thought okay so that is something in germany and this is similar so very very similar except for these little guys have flocking on them and if you're watch this channel and you love calico critters then you'll you'll know all about this but um, those were just rubber. They did have hair and they had cute little clothes and they had little families and it was very, very cute. And so my mom had those all the way up until um, she was in her adulthood and she didn't collect them all. There weren't, there weren't like a whole series of them that I know of. There might be, but she still had those. Um, and so these remind me of those, but I also really love rabbits. I love rabbits. <laughs> and so this was a draw for me and I thought, oh my goodness, aren't those cute? Okay. So to add to a little bit to the story of why I build little houses like these is because my husband's mother makes these Christmas scenery. She makes these Christmas sceneries with trees and then we have a little town, a miniature town, and it lights up. And every Christmas we pull it out and put it up. And it's our little miniature town. And I just absolutely adore it. So I thought this year what I would do after I found, discovered these, I said, why don't I make a cute little Christmas town? And I'll make the buildings myself. I'll get some craft supplies. I'll do it all from the Dollar Tree. So it's really inexpensive. And then I will we'll create this whole Christmas wonderland set in Paris. And make these little shops and boutiques. And then position these cute little critters in and around the town and use it like a Christmas time theme. But then as I started doing that, I realized I really like this. I'm really enjoying myself. So I will build them a house. And then, so then I built them this house, the critters, this little house here. And I'm gonna take you for a little tour on this one. Let's get started. Okay, and so the roof, I used sandpaper on this. This I thought was a great idea. I was going to cut small little tiles and do them all together, but I got overly zealous and I got so excited about finishing the project that I just went ahead and hot glued the sandpaper to the roof. So that's perfect. Then it's got windows here, um, and these are glass, and I used um, glass out of the frames of picture frames. And then you see here, um, I used peel and stick cork for the windows. And then I took a little Sharpie and drew little patterns in there. And around the edging here, you'll see, and I'm gonna take you in close, you're gonna see a lot of the mistakes I made, but this was my first house so and I used ribbon from around here also Dollar Tree and then if you lift up the house I mean obviously I'm not going to play with this house this is just for my pleasure to uh, enjoy the scenery of the outside house so um, I decided not to do a closed house meaning um four walls and not have the back be open like a traditional doll house and rather come in from the top. And so I have these lights taped to the underside and these are also Dollar Tree lights. Um, they have these right now during Christmas time, they have quite a few of them. So if you like that, you'll see here on the side that it has a battery pack with a little switch on it so I can turn on and off the lights um, pretty easily here. If I want to, oops, that's, you can see that light on the inside there, go on and off. And I felt like taping the lights all around the top part gave more ambient lighting. 
So when I want to remodel in the house, I just pull the top off entirely. And for the windows, I used miniature picture frames from Dollar Tree with the glass. And so I hot glued glass onto the back of the frame and hot glued the frame onto the, um, the board. And then this paper that looks like brick, this is from Michael's Crafts. It is scrapbooking paper. I thought it was great for the old world look because I was kind of doing like a Paris type theme. And then as a little bit of a skirt here from the top and the bottom, this top part comes off. I put in some ribbon here just to give it a nice finished look. And then if we go in on the top, it's a little bit messy. There we go. We've got with a sweet pea father here. And I made a little bed. The furniture here is Dollar Tree. This is um, a faux book, book display. And I got these at Michael's Crafts. And I believe they're called Ashland. They have miniatures at Michael's that are 1 12th. Um, so they're perfect for doll houses. This is a piece of doll house furniture that I got at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. You can cut the legs off if you want to make it shorter if you are displaying these with calico critters um, because the critters are quite short, but I thought it was fine. The drawers do not open, but it's a nice wood piece. And um, yeah, Dollar Tree, pretty inexpensive. Um, you'll see here that I have cork on the floor. So I decided to do the bedroom floor with the cork. And then I have a little chair here and I bought this at, I got this on Amazon. It came with a furniture set. I'll show you the living room. And this is one twelfth scale. Comes with a little pillow. And then I took the two pillows from the other couch and put them in the bed here. Now I made this bed. It too is Dollar Tree. It was, it's a little wooden crate made out of the same type of wood as this piece here. And I cut it down, made it shorter, put some ribbon around it, filled it with a little bit of um, paper towel and put some white material on for the mattress. Then the headboard is just hot glued piece, a piece of um, that poster board um, with some felt that I hot glued around the top. So that's the bed. And then I just found some fabric around the house. Um, another thing you could do is kind of use up, um, if you have clothes that you're going to get give to Goodwill, you can use the fabric off of your clothes. I just happen to have this polka dotted material laying around the house in my sewing kit. And so I decided to add a little bit of uh, lace trim there onto it to make the bedding. So that's the bed. And then as you can see, I purchased the Calico Critters bathroom set, which comes with this really cute tub here. Let's move him out of the way. And uh, it comes with this cute tub that has like these, I mean, it's very old world and I thought it would fit good in here. It comes with the kind of faux claw foot old-fashioned tub and I really liked that look because that was the look I was trying to get and then it comes with a little water spout so real just super cute I fell in love with it and around this time of year um, these things are on sale on Amazon so I decided to get it and that little tray goes there with all the little brush and the soap it has a little the set comes with a really cute little toilet here. It's adorable, right? And it even comes with a little, I don't know if you can see this toilet brush down here. I think I'm going to hot glue some of this stuff together because it's it doesn't really stay um, together. And 
for my purposes as as an adult um, making doll houses I don't really need the pieces to move I know the kids love to play with the stuff like this but I don't really need these pieces moving and functioning um, because I'm just using them for display purposes so I think I'm going to hot glue those and then it comes with this cute this cute little sink here and I have to clean all this up but and set it all up this little sink part here so real cute and I still have not hooked up the toilet paper dispenser to the side here which is what I'll do later but so it's kind of messy in here so a little toothbrush fell comes with a little toothbrush and a little cup there and a little basket so cute so anyway that's the set and then I still have to trim out this window a little bit and this is peel and stick um, paper it's kind of like the contact paper and they have this at Dollar Tree so this is Dollar Tree as well all right so then we take the top off and we go down to the first story and underneath the top I have the lights rigged for the first story so that way when I turn those on it illuminates the first story all right we got the little we got our little bunny here we got our sweet pea um, children here sitting on the couch and they're enjoying their nice fire and here are some more of those little books they come in a pack of three from Ashland at Michael's Crafts that's 112 scale and here's um, look familiar it's just like the one upstairs but I converted it into a fireplace and how I did that was I took some of that poster board that foam poster board and I made a little frame here and then I put another little poster board on the back to give it some depth and to make the flames I used some felt some red felt and then I bought some of these wooden dowels at the Dollar Tree as well and I scorched them a little bit to make it look like fire and I still have yet to remove these knobs I think I'm going to pull those off and I think I'm going to stain this piece but for now it's okay and so here's one of those the chair set the set of the living room set comes with the couch and two chairs and four pillows and I'll put that in my description box in case you're interested and this little lamp I made this out of a dowel and I hot glued it to some poster board and then this is a cap actually this cap came off of the chase disinfectant spray from the Dollar Tree and I thought it made a really cool lamp floor lamp for them oops except for it does need it needs a more of a base I mean, it's topples over real easily so and then I took some of that poster foam poster board and I made a little refrigerator so I just kind of sized it out scaled it as best I could to the calico critters drew a little line there with the pin and this little gold piece I will show you where I got the little gold piece okay so here's where I got the gold piece there's these little chests that they sell at the Dollar Tree these wooden chests that you paint and so I took the gold piece off and I used it on the refrigerator and then you'll see in the kitchen the stove is the lid part of this chest which I took the hinges off which those hinges actually could be used for the front door too I took the hinges off and took the top part and turned it into a little stove and I just cut these discs out of a cardboard black cardboard made little markings on them I have yet to glue them down and that will be the stove and then over here I made the sink and the sink is just made out of matchbook matchbooks that I cut and scooted them a little closer together and hot glued them and then put some uh, 
cardboard around the edges and then made like a little faucet out of the foam board. And that goes right there. And then, and then I took some more foam board and I covered it in the paper and this is scrapbook scrapbooking paper from Michaels as well and I made a little oven range hood and covered it in the paper and then hot glued it to the wall. The hot glue is really powerful. It really holds this really, I'm shocked at how strong that stuff is. It works so good for making these um, doll houses. And then um, you'll see the flooring here. This is the peel and stick and that is also from Dollar Tree. So quite inexpensive. And so that's the living room and the kitchen. And on the front of the house, I, you'll see the window here. And this is a frame from Dollar Tree, picture frame with real glass. And again, I, I hot glued the glass to the frame and hot glued the frame to the, to the house after cutting it. And the door, I just cut a hole in my square in my square and of course this is the poster board see it's got the the foam in between so it's quite thick and it makes a good door and then i put glass inside the door and that came from a picture frame one of those mini picture frames as well the little wreath came from michael's crafts it comes like in a six pack and the peel and stick cork that I used on the outside at the door is also Dollar Tree. And the little doorknob is actually a mini Christmas tree. I got these little mini Christmas trees at the Dollar Tree in like a six pack. And I thought the little gold bottom was perfect to make the doorknob. So I used it for that. And then I just detailed out with my pen a little bit. Now I, I made the doors completely removable and I did that on purpose that way as I'm not going to be actually playing with this, but I will be moving things around in here sometimes and I want it to be able to reach inside here if I needed to adjust something or move one of the characters around or scoot something over or add something. I want it to be able to go in through the door with my hand. So I just kind of left it hingeless, but you could put hinges on these, but actually it just holds quite well just with tension like that. And then if I'm setting a scene, I can just open up the door here. Like if I'm having one of the bunnies, if I'm staging, if you will, if I'm staging a little Thing. I can just have one of the bunnies just positioned right here in front of the door with the door open and then it looks like she's going into the door and so that's why I have the doors that are removable I think that works better I still need to put some edging here but so when I have my Christmas scenery of my Paris town and I have the little um I have the critters going in and out of the shops and stuff like that. I just like to have it that way. That way I can position them and then just put the door back. And it fits in there and it stays just like that. And then the trees that I have on the outside of the house right now, I just have, um, these are great. These are from Target, and if you like these, I would get them now. November, December is the perfect time to go and get these trees for any kind of scenery. And if you're um, a person who loves miniature trains or train towns or doll houses, these trees are perfect for that. Um, not just for the Christmas time, but they make great shrubbery if you're decorating your doll house. They come in smaller trees too. These are the larger ones, but I thought they would be great because they kind of mimic those big hedges on either side of the house. So I thought those, those would go perfect there for the house. 
All right, so that's the tour of my house. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned uh, for other videos and I'll just be doing little work. I'll show you some more um, things that I've made from Dollar Tree. Uh, the, the house itself costs anywhere from 25 to $30 to make at, from the Dollar Tree. Um, that's not including the calico. That's what it looks like at night. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye now.